Motion by Alderman Jones, second by Our Lady Hampton to approve resolution authorizing the ex execution of the CDBG 2106-006. Question? Roll call. Alderman McDowell? Yes. Alderman Barron? Yes. Alderman Barron? Yes. Alderman Jones? Yes. Alderman Thank you, Mr. Attorney. Moving on to City Clerk's report. Yes, I have a home-based business license for approval tonight, phase by Act 3 LLC. Okay, uh, we'll need a motion to open the floor. I did see that um that that individual did log into zoom so we just need a motion from the council so mayor just... Powell, yes i make a motion that we open the uh the floor to ashley um Miklo, Miklo, um and a second. second all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. Good evening, uh, Miss Ashley. Uh, is it McLemore? Yes, it is. Good evening. Hi. Uh, we we uh, the the city council here this evening has uh, your your home based business application. They may have some questions for okay. you, but if you want to open up and tell us briefly about your business, we we did read some, but it's better to hear more about mm -hmm. your service and what you want to have here in the city of Markham. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing makeup on myself since I was nine years old and always had a passion for it, just watching my mom, my grandma. So that's what pretty much sparked it. And so I just had a thought like, hey, I want to do this on other people and do this as my living. So I would just be doing makeup on singly my clients, my clientele, and then I will also be offering Zoom uh, classes for people that wants to learn how to apply makeup on their self. But my whole goal and motive is to let people know that their beauty is found from God and that they don't need the makeup, it's just enhancing them. And just to see people smile afterwards is really the whole goal. And to see how happy they are and their confidence lifted after the services. All right, City Council. This is Alderman Hampton. I have a question for you. Did yeah. you have to attend any type of classes or schools, or is there any type of sanitation that you need to practice uh, on your clients? No, so I personally, in the state of Illinois, they don't even offer solely makeup, but my own way is, yes, I do practice sanitary, uh, precautions and also I did personally take a class it's just a certificate but they don't have license for makeup artists okay thank you I appreciate that Miss Ashley no problem council any other questions all right uh, I must say that uh, I find that uh, it's pretty refreshing uh, to, to see what you want to do. And I, I kind of like what you're going to do. Uh, I'm sure my wife would be excited. So I'm going to tell her about you. Uh, she <laughs> has some you. event. Uh, so I know that uh, this, this could be pretty good. Maybe you can do something for some of us guys that look kind of, we need some help. I'm so, not doing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in any event, Miss Ashley, we're, we're glad to, to see that you're going to be a young entrepreneur and, and, and do some things. And um, yeah. Um, this is, um, uh, I, I've kind of asked, uh, old lady Hampton who doesn't have businesses in her ward to kind of work with the food trucks and the home-based businesses. So, um, she'll be, hopefully she'll lead the charge in wanting to, uh, approve you tonight. So we'll see, but, yes. uh, if we have no other questions. We can close the floor to her and you all can say what your pleasure is. Mayor, I make a motion that we close the floor to uh, Ashley McDowell. On favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, ayes have it. Council, what's your pleasure tonight? Mayor, I make a motion 
I'm sorry. Go ahead, Alderman Darren. Uh, Mayor, I make a motion that we approve a business license for Ashley Lamore, Mort McMore, uh, as submitted and approved by the city. Okay, uh, we have motion and a second to approve business license for Ashley McLemore and uh, faced by Ashley LLC. Any other question? Roll call. Alderman Jones? Yes. Alderman Barron? Yes. Alderman Darren? Yes. Alderman Hauser? Yes. Alderman Lady McDowell? Yes. Alderman Barry. Okay. May who made the second? Uh, all lady McDowell. McDowell. All right, thank you. Yes, uh, Miss Ashley, I will be getting in contact with you and, <laughs> and, and thank you for coming into our city again. Just get on back on the mayor. It's very refreshing that we have young entrepreneurs in our neighborhood as well. Thank you, and I will be visiting with you. Yes, thank you so guys so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And council members, I, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't make that really clear ahead of time. I've been working with Old Lady Hampton to try and, I know this is an Alderman Barron's ward. We'll have situations where they'll be in your wards, but I was trying to uh, give um, Old Lady Hampton who doesn't have any business in their ward to kind of help us with uh, dealing with some of the businesses like that with applications. On. So I just wanted to kind of put it out there. But it's whatever the pleasure of the council is. I just was recommended to give her some of these things to do. All right, we can talk about that another time. And uh, Madam Clerk, what else do we have? That is all I have to speak to, Mayor. Okay, all right, then we'll move on. Uh, Mayor's report. I've got a few things. Um, we, I, I don't know how the, the, the uh, camera feed would be to pan the room tonight. Um, but uh, this uh, February is Black History Month. And um, again, our city council chambers, uh, we, we were not as fortunate uh, last year to be able to do some of the things we wanted to do with Black History. And we were able to, uh, uh, I, I wanna give kudos to Old Lady McDowell. She, uh, steps up every year and really helps get these things together. And I think that there's other employees here in the building that have helped out. And we've got our, our vestibule and our hallways filled with different pieces of information of black history uh, of many um, historians uh, that, that uh, have come before us. And, and then we have some of our, our people locally as well. So we're pretty blessed to have um, this month to be able to recognize so many. So um, if anybody gets a chance to come by City Hall and take a look at what we have uh, in our council chambers and in our hallways, please do. And uh, I certainly I was going to do what I could do to dress up, but I dressed up for snow. So I couldn't, couldn't dress in uh, some of the uh, African-American garments that I have, I have some, uh, I have a, a garment from Africa that I've had for a number of years. I wanted to wear it, but I couldn't tonight. So the next thing, uh, of course, uh, I, I, I mentioned snow. And instead of going right into snow, I didn't lose the thunder of um, Black History Month to say anything about that. But the snow uh, has been uh, quite a bit. Department of Public Works has worked tirelessly um, ever since three o'clock this morning, they've been at it and uh, they went in uh, this evening for a break and they'll be returning again about three or four in the morning. We're said to have another round of snow coming our way. So um, be patient. Um, I had to tell one senior, I don't know where you're going that you need us to get over to your house so quick because I'm out here and I'm almost getting stuck. But uh, we've got some seniors that are in a hurry. I don't know what they're in a hurry about. <laughs> As they say, bless their heart. <laughs> but uh, I'm not far from being a senior now, and I ain't in nobody's hurry when that weather's like that. I got to be out here, so I am. But again, hats off to Public Works. We had the fire department. We had three members of the fire department 
that have had to help us plow because we have been shorthanded with CDL personnel and they've stepped up and they've been out there as well. So uh, the fire department's helped out and I've asked police to um, enforce the no parking. Uh, otherwise you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get plowed in. So if your car's out there, if we don't get a chance to tow it, then we're gonna plow you in. You'll be, you won't be able to get out for a week. So uh, make sure you move your car. Uh, finally, I just have a few announcements. Um, uh, on the website, uh, on the, the, our Facebook page and at City Hall, there is an announcement and certainly in, in the vestibule and at, in the hallways of City Hall, we have a, a senior birthday club that we want to get started. Uh, if you have seniors in your ward that are uh, of significant age, we want to really try to acknowledge them and certainly want to know. We're looking for who some of our uh, older seniors are in the wards. So um, this will be out. Uh, we're going to get it out to everybody we like. This is a, a way to continue to engage our community in different ways. And so we want to be able to uh, know the birthdays and the years that uh, we have. We have, we, I know for sure we have um, one senior that's almost 100. So we're looking forward to her 100th birthday. And if you know in your ward, uh, some of the seniors that are up in age like that, please have them get a hold of us uh, here at uh, Extension 323. I know all lady uh, McDowell's helping along with this. Um, and uh, get get a hold of her or my office. And we want to make sure that we acknowledge you and get you get your information. Another announcement uh, over at the Park District, um, we participate with them with um, Black History Month in the coloring contest. And so uh, again, a couple of other things that uh, the Park District puts out. We want to get uh, it's. Uh, prizes will be given to the age group from five and under, six to 12, and then 13 to 18. And so um, we want to see some artistic things done or drawn uh, with our young people and kids. And um, the Park District is going to engage them. So get a hold of the Park District, get the kids or the young people uh, sent over to the Park District to get information about that. Uh, one other item next Friday is our annual Valentine's drive-by giveaway for the, uh, the seniors, and we'll have baskets for them. Um, I'm looking forward to the senior year so I can drive by here as well. I don't know about Valentine's Day, but I'll be by here when my time comes, but uh, because we treat our seniors very good, and I thank the city council for all of the support that we do for our seniors in the community. You all do very well with that. And I, I'm grateful for what we're able to get. So that's next Friday at 11 o'clock over at uh, Rosner Park. Uh, I almost want to say to the seniors, you all know the routine. Last item, um, if you drive by City Hall, you will notice that there are some blue lights out there. Um, we have not uh, been able to, because of the meetings to have Bridget Reynolds to come by. She is a uh, uh, she's had sickle cell for, for many years, has a deep heart and concern for sickle cell. She's asked us to um, put out the news and the flyer and put it on our pages about sickle cell disease and also display the blue lights um, about sickle cell. So if you pass by and you see the blue lights at City Hall, it's, um, that's not the old Kmart blue light special. That is blue lights for sickle cell. And we're supporting that. And we want to put the word out about people being healthy and dealing with that disease. So with that, I'll go over to the city administrator's report. Mr. Champion. Yep, thank you, uh, Mayor. Um, good evening, city council and the residents of um, the city of Markham. Just real quick, uh, just want to, first of all, thank um, Ashley Mac McLemore and um, you know the city of Markham, we definitely support small businesses. Um, I definitely want Ms. McLemore to reach out to City Hall because there are resources that are available for small businesses through the state of Illinois. 
I want to make sure that um, she's aware of our small business development centers that actually help um, small businesses um, that want to scale up as well. And they have free resources. So I de definitely want um, her to be aware of those resources that are available for our um, at-home businesses. Also, just want to, I know that there's been some information or some questions out um, regarding um, some of our um, jobs at Amazon. So I want to, if anybody has any questions about employment at Amazon, please um, um, check our website and our social platforms. We are tweaking a couple of things um, with the information that's out there. It should be up um, and ready tomorrow. But if you have any questions about uh, any type of employment or inquiries regarding uh, employment at Amazon, uh, we have somebody in-house that will be taking inquiries and circling back uh, with, um, with answers. Also, we are just a, a heads up, we are uh, continuously trying to identify um, the right businesses to come to Markham. We are still working, um, making sure that we're looking for um, family style restaurants. So uh, we are listening to our residents on what they are um, in need of here and some, um, some fresh food options. So um, once this weather breaks, I know we have a lot of things happening coming in the spring and the summer months. So stay tuned for that. And also we will continue to work on our quality of life plan, including and, and fixing up our parks and um, working on some uh, infrastructure as well. So um, with that, Mayor, I think that will wrap up uh, my report. Thank you, uh, Mr. Champion. Uh, one thing that I, I left out that I did want to mention um, today, a lot of the communities around us, they, they had most of their offices and their office pools closed. So water and some of the other ancillary departments were closed. We had some stellar employees to all get in here. I, I got them out here a little bit early so they get home. They were able to dig out and come into work. And uh, I thought that that was really good that they pushed themselves to get here um, and it was appreciated. And once they got City Hall rolling um, later in the afternoon, we were able to get them out a little early. So we appreciate that very much. And we'll go over now to the Aldermanic reports. Uh, we'll start with uh, Alderman Jones. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to first say uh, happy Lunar New Year to those who are celebrating the Lunar New Year. It's the year of the tiger. I wish you health, happiness, and good fortune. You know, um, also I like to give kudos out to Lisa Young for the senior snow plowing. You know, uh, a lot of people have called me and have called her and uh, she really has stepped up to the plate. So Lisa, thank you for all that you're doing for our seniors. Um, I was out there also shoveling snow for some seniors and, um, you know, I, I love the, uh, the team effort in the snow plowing project. Uh, last but not least, I like to say uh, Black History, happy Black History to everyone. Black History is 365 days a year, but uh, in February, we, ex we celebrated in double portion. So please get out there, uh, do this homework, do your research, um, let the kids know, let people know and about the celebration of the history of African-Americans in, um, in general. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, thank you, Alderman. Going on to Alderman Barron, good evening. Good evening. Um, I would like to, um, you know, echo your sentiments of public works. I was out on the streets quite a bit today, um, uh, doing a wonderful job. Uh, a lot of people um, just be a little bit patient. The, the first thing they wanted to do was make sure that all the streets were open. Uh, when the snow is finally stopped, they will come back and start dressing down the streets and uh, they'll widen them, they'll work on the intersections. Um, uh, so that just, it just takes some time, but the most, the most important thing is that all of our streets were open did a wonderful job uh, doing that. Um, the, you know, the other thing that I was going to mention is that, you know, there is no parking on the streets when we have two inches of snow. 
And, you know, I saw places today that had already worked, but had to plow around vehicles and there was no call for that. So if your vehicle is parked out on the street, it needs to be moved. Uh, the next thing, I'm sure everybody uh, in yesterday's mail got their taxes. So I'm going to go into my rant uh, like I do every year. Um, we are one of 23 agencies that are part of your real estate taxes. Uh, we have very little to do with uh, the rates that are reflected in there. Uh, I myself have been protesting my taxes every year for the last 20 years. And I suggest everybody in the city of Markham do the same thing. Uh, I, there's no rhyme or rhythm to it. I, I try to make sense out of it every year and I can't. Um, so I suggest to everybody, uh, you can you can file an appeal um, at Bremen Township, which is at 164th in Kenzie. You can go in there and file there. You can file online. Uh, you can go to the court building and file. So uh, that's, that's my suggestion. Uh, to the other departments, police and fire, uh, all the city employees that made it to work today, uh, kudos to all of you. Uh, it's, uh, it was pretty tough driving there for a while this morning. It got better this afternoon. And with that mayor, I will close my report. Thank you, Alderman Mayor. Good evening, all Lady Hampton. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, City Council. Good evening, citizens of City of Markham. Just, uh, just a ditto on Alderman Barron. We do have one more location. If you're not in a Bremen Township, you can actually go to the Thor Thornton Township as well. If you're in a Thornton Township, which is located on 162nd and I can't remember the name of that cross street, but right below the, uh, the overpass, you definitely can go there as well to uh, contest your taxes as well. And then also, I just want to give kudos off to, um, again, uh, Public Works. I know we're being uh, redundant, but it's also well needed and it's truthful in reference to their diligence in working for the city of Markham in reference to removing this snow. And then last but not least, uh, well, in reference to that or whatever, I've had quite a few phone calls from residents as well saying we don't see the plows down the street. Well, the plows are in the street, but they prioritize, you know, uh, 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 where they need to plow at first. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm like you, Mayor, I just don't understand when you know you're not even going anywhere in many cases. Some of them not going anywhere. So I'm just asking them as well to be patient. And then last but not least, uh, happy Black History Month. Even though we have the shortest month of the year, but I have to say um, Alderman Jones was correct. You know, uh, it, it, it's 365 days out the year. So I uh, just wanted to give kudos out to uh, Black History Month. And that's the end of my report, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lady Hampton. Good evening, all the Lady McDowell. Good evening, Mayor, City Council. Um, I would like to encourage all, all of our residents
actually done their driveway. So I took that time for the other property back into their um, on their property. So um, have a location with us. We're, it's a lot of snow. And our team is actually working very hard to make sure everyone is safe. Uh, thanks to public work for their hard work that everything has been doing to make sure that we're all safe in this house as we move. Thank you. I, I couldn't help but uh, was going to tell a joke and say, Alvin Barron, I, I'm in your ward. I want that kind of service from you over there uh, to help me out. <laughs> you always wanted service. <laughs> what, what, what do you say? What do you say? You I know. Yeah. Service. I just had, hey, I had to throw it in there since you're my Alvin over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Mayor, motion to... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mayor. Can I please just add something to my report? This is Alderman Hampton. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Um, uh, anyone in Ward 1 who also need to have a COVID test kit, it can please give me a call at 708-297-8748. Again, that's 708-297-8748. I do have some COVID testing kits available. So please give me a call, reach out. Thank you, Mayor. All right, great, great. Motion to uh, open the meeting to the public. Make a motion that we open the meeting to the public. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have it. Anyone that wants to address the city council tonight, please stand, say your name if you want to address the public. I mean, address the council. Seeing there is none, is there a motion to close the meeting? Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ayes have it. Uh, who would like to take care of number 13 tonight? Hey, Mayor, might as well. Go ahead, Baron, I'm sorry. You got a motion and a second. All in favor? Oh, I'm Aye. saying no, we got a roll call, roll call. Alderman Barron? Yes. Alderman, Alderman Lady McDowell? Yes. Alderman Jones? Yes. Alderman Lady Hampton Hauser? Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night.